What's up Marvel Legends fans and collectors, I just wanted to share a video on this modular Iron Man Marvel Legends figure that I picked up during the week. Um, you really didn't have any intention of getting it, but there was just something about this figure and um, I'm really glad I did. It's a, it's a really nice looking Iron Man. Um, I don't know, there was just something really, really appealing about the look of this figure and I think it's the sort of... I think it's the paint apps, the, the real sort of metallic red against the sort of satin gold. It looks really nice. Um, so take a look at the packaging. It's, uh, yeah, modular Iron Man. I have gotten rid of all the stuff at the back. There's a picture of him on the side there. It does have a little bio on the back there. It says a dazzling technological achievement. The modular suit allows Tony Stark to reconfigure subsystems like boots, gloves, helmets, and scanners on the fly. So yeah, build a figure for Ursa Major. This is the one figure that doesn't come with any parts. Um, and yeah, I don't know that I've, I've seen, I think I've seen the Ultron in store. Um, and yeah, I haven't seen any of the others yet at the moment, but you know, Vault Guardsman, Stealth Iron Man, Dark Star, Ironheart, Hologram Iron Man, and of course Ultron down the end there with his face ripped in half. So yeah, Ultron's the only other one I've seen on store shelves at this point. So um, yeah, decide to grab this guy. And uh, yeah, he looks pretty damn good. Comes with a change of hands, uh, so you just got the fists as shown, and then the open palms, and they come with these blast effects that we've seen a million times. But you know, if they're not broke, why fix them? They 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 work fine. They're pretty good. They look alright. They look good on the figure when it's posed up. And I'll just switch out one of the hands to show you. That is a tight. Nice tight, Ooh, bumping everything here. Nice tight change. So there we go. But yeah, just really the sculpt really pops on this figure, um, thanks to the, you know, the contrast in, in the paint. I mean, I assume it's probably cast in that sort of metallic-looking red as opposed to being painted, and the gold bits. Predominantly, probably these sort of armor pieces on the legs. Arms, they're probably um, cast in that sort of gold as well and then glued on. And then these parts here are probably painted, but it's hard to tell. They may actually be cast themselves in that gold color because they seem to be separate pieces. There seems to be some separate sort of separation there. Nonetheless, it looks great. It came out really nice. Um, I really want to get a animated Tony Stark head, so I want to really want to try and find that um, anniversary retro one that came out recently. Because I reckon the Tony Tony Stark head would look awesome on this Iron Man. But yeah, big fan of this one. Good articulation. Might put him on a flight stand and get him in some cool poses. But yeah, it's just, just a figure I've decided to pick up during the week. Um, you know, just, you know, have a figure craving. Which is <laughs> like, I just want to buy a figure. So I did. And, uh, yeah, I do sort of dabble with the uh, animated or the sort of comic, comic style sort of Marvel Legends every now and then. I did pick up the uh, Marvel's Ragnarok a few weeks ago. But uh, this one was definitely one... I like, I really, really like the look of. So yeah, it's a nice, really nice, nice figure done by Hasbro. This one it looks great. Got all the articulation you need, which is fantastic. So there we have him. Iron Man, modular Iron Man. What an awesome looking suit. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it.
be a short little video today, but just wanted to share this one because I, I just really like it. So again, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.